In the space of just a few hours today, Lebanon saw perhaps the beginning of the change that most here seem to crave. But also the fragility of a country that could still spiral. After 13 days of continuous countrywide secular protests, the Prime Minister Saad Hariri had made a decision, and late in the afternoon he announced it. For 13 days, the Lebanese people have waited for a decision for a political solution that would stop the deterioration. I've tried during this period to find a way out, to listen to the people's voice and to protect the country from economic security and social dangers. Today, I will not hide it from you. I have reached a dead end. Behind him on the wall, the portrait is of his father, Rafiq Hariri, former prime minister assassinated in 2005, the victim of sectarian conflict that's never far away. And outside, in the hours just before the resignation, signs of those tensions were clear. Martyrs Square in Beirut, one focus for the days of peaceful protests, turned violent. The tents and stalls that had been the focus of a carnival-like atmosphere were ripped up and pulled down. This wasn't the police or the army moving in, it was supporters of two Shia organizations, Hezbollah and the Amal movement. Their position in government is weakened by the fall of the political system. The police did move in after a bit, but in Lebanon it's the various religious movements who hold the power, not the security forces. Where the Hezbollah men didn't go, there was space for satisfaction that one of the protester demands had been met. The PM had gone. The Lebanese people are one, they chanted. It has been a theme of what they've called their revolution. For 13 days, no political or religious divides. They've even surprised themselves. We are going to not come out of the streets until the government steps down and a new government is going to come up, that they are professionals and they don't belong to any sectarianism. Tonight, back in the central square, the tents are being put up again. The PM is gone, but the fear is that the political establishment will try and rejig their own from within. And on the streets up and down this country, the change they're demanding goes well beyond the Prime Minister. Mark Stone, Sky News.